Good morning and welcome to Redeemer. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. This week we're talking about a nurse who taught a pastor about how she used her hand to remind her of the things she wanted to pray for and how that can be a good model for us too. Today we want to talk about the fourth finger or as you may call it the ring finger. This finger might be the one you might have thought we'd talk about first. And like some of the other fingers, I think sometimes we neglect or forget to pray about what this finger represents too. The nurse considered that her fourth finger was the weakest one. And so for her, it stood for those who were in trouble or pain. Now, of course, when we know of someone feeling trouble or pain, it's not hard to remember to pray for them. But that's not what this nurse meant. No, she used this finger to help her remember to pray for the sick, the hungry, the homeless, the sorrowed, the bitter, the hurt, and all those we so often overlook in society. And it's easy to pray about these things when we know people experiencing those things but all too easy to omit praying for them when we consider those all over the world who struggle and who are the weakest of our society. As I have said before, so often our prayers are weighed down by our own concerns and we forget to look beyond ourselves and pray for the good of all people. I remember one Sunday when I was preparing my prayer to lead in worship, and I wanted to say something along the lines of, we get so bogged down with our own concerns that we fail to see the concerns of others. However, when I typed it out, my fingers went to the wrong keys. But in the end, I think it came out more truthful than what I had intended. I ended up typing, we get so bigged down. In other words, we get so big in our own eyes. Our eyes are so full of our own concerns that we can't or don't look beyond ourselves. And I think this prayer is especially hard because we know we are supposed to pray for these things. We know we are supposed to pray for the hungry, for widows and orphans and more. So sometimes we might throw off some words without a whole lot of meaning just to cover our bases in prayer. But I think prayer is meant to be more heartfelt than that. Prayer ought to really consider their plight, earnestly pray for them, and seek God's guidance for how we can respond to their need. It's the weakest finger. And we need to remember and pray for the weakest among us. Thanks for watching. And remember to let this day belong to God.